that or I must have like the worst enunciation in the world because I try to tell her stuff and she does, yeah. Siri was the first one out there, but now Amazon and Google have dominated the voice market. Let's see, we're in Mante. Mante traffic, Scott High Cape 4717 is leaving the ramp area to taxi and take off on runway 03. Mante traffic. I don't see any planes coming in or didn't hear any either. Do you see any? I've actually never taken off this direction. Always been the other way. Yeah. I've landed this direction and landed the other direction, but I've never taken off on zero three. Yeah, this runway is about twice as wide as uh, Mount Pleasant. And, uh, oh, really? In a whole lot better shape, yeah. Yeah, you said they were going to try to rebuild a, or build another one at Mount Pleasant. I'm like, why and who's funding it? <laughs> Anti-traffic stock 84717 is taking off on runway 03. Anti-traffic. All right. Gauges are in the green. That's back That's up to 70. I said it came up when we were flying, so. Airspeed's alive. Yeah, right there's the gun thing. Yeah, you're like, uh, I mean, I guess they're shooting away from the strip somewhat, but they're shooting this way, it looks like. Yeah. How'd you lose your windshield? Well, I decided to fly into Manti and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> they shot me down. <laughs> The hotter it gets, the harder these planes have climbing, too. Yeah. Fly better in the cool air. So, like at this airport, we're at like 5,500 feet. So is it 1,500 feet up is your turnaround altitude? Pattern altitude is 1,000, usually. Okay. It depends. Some airports designate what the pattern altitude is, and it could be like nine or eight. Well, 800. I'm just saying, what would your turnaround be? Oh. So if you weren't over 6,500, you would yeah, turn around. Yeah, 6,200, yeah. 6,200, okay. So 7,800, 700 feet is minimum. To be able to really turn around. It should be, like, to really do a 180, you need about 1,000 feet. But you can, in Provo, it's a little bit different because they have the crisscross runway and you could you don't have to do a full 180. You can come back on one of the other ones yeah. that are Look, it puts a little green breadcrumb trail of where we <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go over here to flights, send to... Did you need to reactivate a flight plan? I, or? I did it. Oh, I didn't see that. I was like... I thought I didn't know if like a... So basically, if you're on the ground, you turn it off. As soon as you get back in the air, you turn it back on. Yep. Well, it's a different flight plan. I did two separate flight plans. Oh, okay. We're going to go up to... Eight. You want to fly? Sure. Okay, you got your... You have flight controls. Okay. Can we right. fly over Mount Pleasant, or do you want to head out straight this way? Um, What's your time? We can fly over that way if you want, just to check it out. But yeah, I had to show you where it was at over here. It's kind of a, what are we going up to? 8,500. Okay. So just keep it right around uh, 
90-95 to climb. Okay. So between that. We'll do an instrument approach with ATC when we come into Provo. Okay. I, I need to practice that. We'll do a VOR approach. So I'm going to go to my plate and review that while you're flying. So don't wreck. All right. If you feel any sudden movement, you know. <laughs> so it's 134 course. Get that ready. Manti traffic, Sky K4717 is at 8,000, climbing to 8,500, heading north towards Mount Pleasant area, and then we'll go back through the canyon, Nephi Canyon, towards uh, Nephi. Manti traffic. Yeah, see if I can take it out from the air up here. But yeah, their strip is pretty small. I think it's this arena up here. That's it straight ahead of us. So oh, yeah, yeah I see. Great it. big building. Yeah. And then, uh, so they said on the weekends they don't like you flying RC there because they have horses and stuff. Oh, yeah. And apparently they can kind of, but during the week it's not an issue. But yeah, it's... It makes me from look So big. level off now. Yeah, it makes E from look like a big airport. And if we need to trim it to stay leveled, let me know. Okay. Do we need to trim it down? Let's see where and yeah, oh, right, let's see where that rides. It's not fighting right now, so Oh, so the big black that strip no. is the runway, right? Yeah. The, the dirt's yes. coming in on both sides? Yep. Side. Yeah, so they've, uh, you just kind of go over there and, uh, so, let's see, nose down, just a touch there. So roll it it's up a little. still wanting to. Find the happy spot. Now it's going up. You don't have to trim it too much. Just kind of give it a second to settle into, I guess. But yeah, so this little strip right here, and then uh, you get in right here off the north end of it. Yeah. And we just park the trailer there and... Uh, nice. Uh, Okay, so turn that way, and we'll capture it on the video as we fly over on the one below yeah. us. Just make sure you stay this side of these mountains, okay? Because we don't want to go too high, so we have to clear those. I mean, we can if we want, but we filed the flight plan, so we're kind of on a time. Right. So if you level off right here, you can probably see it really well on your side. Yeah. But yeah, so you can see right where we parked there, yeah. the little... Yep. Little hangar parking area. Yeah. But, yeah, it's not a bad little strip, but like I said, it's a little rough there. 
Yeah, it doesn't look bad, but I'm surprised there's not a big X painted on it because it is X'd Inactive. out on here. So when we go through the canyon, you don't want to go straight down the middle. I know it's, it feels a little weird like you're going to be close to the mountains and getting updrafts and stuff. Uh -huh. So depending on the wind, uh, I might fly, take controls and fly through if it's bumpy. But um, we want to be just like traffic, go to the right and stay over on the right side. That way, if we have to turn around, we actually have room to turn. Yeah, if you're in the and center, you don't traffic. have room to get out of the... Yeah, and if someone's coming through the other way, too, then gotcha. we... Gotcha. And then they're okay. All right, so I'm gonna go to flight plan. We're gonna say you... Oh, wait, it was 41U. We have a U41 and a, and a 41U. I always get them mixed up. See, I'm the guy who'd want to be the bush pilot in Alaska and be like, hey, let's just go fly into the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been up Maple Canyon here? Yeah. It's a fun spot. Yeah, it's cool for climbing if you like climbing. Yeah. Okay, let's see. It's a U-14. Enter. K. P. Whoops. This is why I didn't want to take the test in this. I'm not used to all the little. Yeah. You're like used to the touch screen. I don't know what how to get rid of that. That's. the pain. You gotta delete the whole flight plan to delete that? You kidding me? So do we want to stay and go kind of towards that red and then around that side, or where's the... Yeah, so just, um, I mean, you're kind of in the middle. Don't go, because we're only at 8,500 feet, and right. so you want to clear the mountains and stuff, but just kind of uh, that little hill that jets up on the right, yep. you don't want to go over that. Just kind of stay to the left of that. Okay. And then and then we'll just stay to the right side of the center. Okay. Does that make sense? I think so. So just stay slightly left of the hill with the red on it and just kind of down yeah. the canyon that way. Yeah.
right. It might get a little bumpy. You want me to take it? Up to you. Go for it. I'll let. All right. I have flight controls. Okay. Sometimes you have to, the wind's coming over that and causing a rotor, and so as soon as we get past this, it probably will There's an apple calm there. down. This isn't too bad. I've been in way, way worse, but. <laughs> not, not very much fun when you're like, um, getting beat around up here. Manti Traffic's uh, 84717 is entering Nephi Canyon, heading towards Nephi at 8,400. Last call, Manti Traffic. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, oh, seven, five. Sometimes you just have to ride the ups and downs yeah. through the canyon, you know? There's a plane out there, you see it? Oh yeah, down low there. Nephi traffic, Skyhawk 84717 is in Nephi Canyon, coming towards Nephi at 8,200, and we're just going to transition to Provo once we get out of the canyon, Nephi traffic. actually kind of a downdraft here. It's been taking us down. And plane landed there at Nephi. Did he? Yeah, he's taxiing in. Oh yeah, I see him. Nephi traffic, Skyhawk 84717 is just exiting Nephi Canyon. Uh, just going to transition over I-15 towards Payson and, and Provo at 8,200 Nephi traffic. Nephi traffic, Diamond Star 6901, Papa Sierra, eight miles to the north of the airport, inbound for full stop. You see him? I'm looking for him. Eight miles doesn't seem that long when you're up here. Yeah. He didn't say his altitude, so. Which way was he heading either? I didn't count. He was north and he, he was he coming was, in. That's what I was wondering if he was heading south. Still don't see him. Nephi traffic, Skyhawk 84717 is two miles uh, northeast over I-15 of the field heading north towards Provo at 7,600.
a little bumpy right here too. Yeah. One nice thing about these Cessnas is they just want to fly level with yeah. the weight on, on, under. Airplay traffic, Diamond Star 691, Papa Sierra, five miles to the north. Airplay traffic. Where, what altitude are you? Yeah, up here. We're five miles to the north and uh, currently down three seven thousand five hundred. We'll uh, set up for a left downwind for uh, runway one seven. Looking for that northbound traffic over I fifteen. I have you in sight. You just passed our wing, so we're uh, clear of you. Okay, doke. Yeah, I see you over there. Thanks. You see them? Yeah, I saw them there. I was going to say their altitude is about the same. That's why I was like, uh, where are they at? <laughs> yeah. All right. You want to fly when it's bumpy? I don't care. All right, your flight controls. Got flight controls. So just maintain 7,500. Okay. And are we going back around the lake or are we coming around? Uh, yeah, we're going to go over this way. So kind of head. So turn, just over the top of all these and then. Yeah, we're going to go right to the middle of the lake and we're going to do an instrument approach. Okay. So we're going to get, uh, I'm going to make one last call for Nephi and then we're going to go to Salt Lake. So 118. Point eight five. And we need to get 135175. Radar services are available from Salt Lake Approach on transponder equipped aircraft only. Use caution for bird activity in the vicinity of the airport. Advice on initial contact, you have information, Oscar. Awesome. Total tower information, Oscar, 1455 Zulu weather. Wind variable at 5, visibility 10, sky condition 10,000 scattered, ceiling 15,000 broken. Temperature 17, 2.06, altimeter 29999. Visual approaches in use, landing and departing, runway 13. VFR departures advise ground control, direction of flight. Primary radar unavailable. Radar services are available from Salt Lake Approach on transponder equipped aircraft only. Use caution for bird activity in the vicinity of the airport. Advice on initial contact. You Nephi traffic, Skyhawk 8477 is at 7,500 north, about 10 miles north, just over the hills by Santa Quinn, and we're uh, going to go into Provo, so last call. Nephi traffic. Okay, so 118.85. Proceed direct hop to. And the VOR 108.4. Okay. FedEx 694 heavy resume normal speed. Salt Lake Skyhawk 84717 is about 20 miles south of Provo at 7,500 uh, with request. VFR aircraft calling with request and by Scott 4753 Salt Lake departure ready to contact climb in 10 14,000 proceed direct top 10. Gus 4567, contact solid center on 13 point nine. Good day. FedEx 74 heavy, contact solid center on 13 point nine. Good day. Accept at 613, resume normal speed, climb and maintain flight level 230. You can start descending to around 7,000. Okay. Slowly, just kind of go down slow. Solid like approach, Wolf 2, unable to get in contact with Wolf 14. Wolf uh, 2, Roger. I got them back on radar, but they're just not responding. Roger, Wolf 2. VFR aircraft, I was calling, second. Sky Hawk 
Sky Hawk A four seven one seven is about uh, fifteen twenty miles south of Provo by West Mountain, and we just want to come in and do a practice VOR approach. Sky Hawk seven one seven, Roger, Squad zero three seven five. Zero three seven five seven one seven. All right, I have flight controls. You have flight controls. He's going to tell me a vector to, to go. He's going to have us go straight out over this way, and then we're going to come in and do an approach. We want to keep it at 7,000 or higher above the lake because then we have enough time to glide to the side. Remember, zero, zero, five, track, climb, maintain, uh, one, four, thousand. Six, 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 what speed are you going to speed up to? So we're tuned yep, into the remember zero zero five track maintain two five zero not. We're tuned into the VOR. We got our course. We got our weather. Project approach Wolf one four heading back to Provo with information officer. And Wolf, I got my plate uh, here. One four Roger. Remember zero zero five track. You got stepped on. Taken. The waypoint Sugi, right there. Remember zero zero five track. We need to be at six thousand two hundred or higher. Once we're on with Salt Lake, they give us uh, traffic advisories too, which is nice. Salt Lake approach, Wolf 38, heading back to Provo with Oscar. Lake's muddy out here on the edges, that's for sure. Yeah. Sky 4753, climb maintain 15,000. Just keep watching for airplanes, just in case they don't tell us. Wolf 44, trap clear, trap catch at 1 o'clock, and a mile maneuvering, altitude indicates 5,400. Look at the traffic, Wolf 14. I like approach Wolf 38, headed back to Provo with information officer. Remember zero, Julia Fox shot uh, from maintain one four thousand and all up higher here in about ten miles. It's got forty seven fifty three resume normal speed. Six six thirteen contest on center one tree tree point nine good day. Wolf 14, contact probe tower 125.3, good day. Contact probe tower 125.3, Wolf 14. What other aircraft said they're returning to Provo? Wolf 38. Wolf 38, Red, contact probe tower on 125.3, good day. Contact probe tower 125.3, thanks. Come fly over the Trek side over here. The what side? The Trek Messiah, oh. the Mazita. It's just down here, there. Yeah. They just do it right over here. Yeah. So this this is tuned into the VOR. So when they're gonna they're gonna tell us to go out this way, right? And then they're going to eventually tell us to turn. When we start turning, this line will start coming in eventually, and we want to, like, turn to get these crosshairs. Right. Well, four, this isn't no going to work. But they are still about three miles north of each your position, maneuvering same altitude. On the VOR, this is going to work. For traffic. It's just this. Sky okay, okay, 717, make a right 360. You got traffic just up to your left side, two miles, same altitude. Right 360, we are at 7,100, we'll stay there. Okay, 717, thank you.
Sky Wagon 180, Mike Julius, Salt Lake Approach, Roger, Salt Lake, Alpha, 299 or 3. Oh, yeah. Alex approach, Wolf 2, with information off, go ahead and back to Provo. Wolf uh, 2, uh, Salt Lake Approach, Tragedy, going to have traffic at 10 o'clock and uh, 4 miles, maneuvering Skyhawk 7000. Looking for traffic, Wolf 2. So we're Wolf, uh, four, lower than we Wolf 4, traffic lower traffic at your 2 o'clock and uh, 2 miles, is that aircraft the same altitude? Uh, Wolf 4, looking. They're 2 miles north of you. Wolf 4, has that traffic in sight? Wolf 4, thank you. Maintain visual separation from that traffic. Wolf 4. Sky 717, and you can uh, make that turn pretty tight if you'd like. All right, we'll uh, tighten it up, 717. Thank you. Sky 4753, climb maintain flight level 230. That's 4753, contest all center one tree, tree point niner. Have a good day. Just have you in hold there while they had another aircraft and yep. Phenom uh, zero Julia Fox shot, you got traffic get you six o'clock and uh, two miles overtaking is a CRJ at the one six thousand climbing climb maintain one five thousand. See our little tracks there. Over zero, Julie Fosher, thank you. Contest all center one tree, tree point nine, or they'll have higher for you. Have a good day. Loop de loop there. It was going to be a good circle, and then he said tighten it up, so. <laughs> Wolf 2, contact Probe Tower 125.3, have a good day. All right, Probe Tower. Thank you, Wolf 2. So since we're doing a VOR approach, I just, I'm not going to have glide slope. So I, my initial approach fix is 6,200. And then my minimum descent altitude or my, that I can go before I come out of the clouds and can see the airport before I do a missed approach is like 4780. So basically 4,800. So once we pass the waypoint Sugi, I'm just going to drop down to 4,800. Since it's a non-precision. Like approach. Wolf 4 is ready to head back to Provo. We've got Oscar. Wolf uh, 4, Roger. Do you still have that traffic uh, north of the insight? Uh, negative. Wolf 4, we'll uh, see if we can reacquire. Roger. The traffic alert. They're at your 12 o'clock in a mile and a half. Same altitude. Yeah, insight, Wolf 4. Wolf 4, Roger, maintain visit separation from that track. Verify, you said you did have Oscar. Hey, affirmative. Wolf 4, then. Sky 717, did you want radar vectors for the approach, or did you want own nav? Radar vectors would be great, 717. Sky 717, Roger, fly heading 310, vector for the VOR approach, maintain VOR. Heading 310, 717. Number zero, uh, Mike Juliet, contest all center one one nine or point nine or five. Have a good day. Wolf four, contest from terror one two five point three. Good day. Wolf four, contact from terror. Salt Lake approach Seminole four six six uniform Victor. 466 Uniform Victor, Salt Lake Bridge. 466 Uniform Victor, we are seven miles west of Fairfield with information Oscar heading back into Provo. 706 Uniform Victor, Ridge.
so why the two gauges? This one obviously is accurate. This is a compass, and this this one sometimes gets out of whack. Yeah. So you use this to navigate. This one precesses, so if you're, you start turning, sometimes it'll precess, sometimes it'll turn the opposite way because gotcha. it's a normal compass. Like departure, wall three five uh, on a practice probe four, climbing through six thousand two hundred. Wall three five, Sully departure, Roger, right there. Wall three five. Sky seven one seven, the turn right, hitting zero seven zero. You got traffic at your two o'clock, two miles south uh, eastbound, altitude in K six thousand four hundred. All right, turning right zero seven zero, looking for traffic. Seven one seven. Well, 35, right of contact, you 4 miles them? southwest, for Blanche, oh, Fort Preval, Altimer, 299 or 9 or 9 or maintain VFR. VFR, well, 35. We have traffic inside, 717. Okay, 717, Roger. Traffic appears to be climbing now. Maintain visual separation from that traffic, just pass behind them. Alright, maintain visual separation, 717. Southwest 1716, Salt Lake departure right of contact, climb maintain 14,000 and uh, proceed right top two. Probably Pro Sky 543 Tango Hotel, head back to Pro, we got information, Oscar. Okay, 543 Tango Hotel, Roger, can't tell this is over here. 25.3, have a good day. 25.3, thanks, good day, we'll, or uh, 3 Tango Hotel. Sky 717, fly heading 100, intercept the final approach course. Heading 100, intercept course, 717. Okay, 6200, I don't want to go below that. And it looks like we're way far out here. There you go, nice long lineup for that one. Yeah, but we're way left, you know, that's interesting. I think, all six, uniform Victor traffic at your 12 o'clock, 3 this miles one comes southwest on down Diamond Star 7200. Unlike the ILS. We're keeping eyes out for traffic, 466 Uniform Victor. Well, 35 uh, traffic gets you 1 o'clock and uh, 3 miles uh, up. That's one direction. nice thing about these instrument is the, uh, approaches. Is 8000. Is they're nice. Thanks for that and, traffic, well, 35. Yeah, for really gradual. Yeah. Sky 717, you're one two miles from Provo Airport, and I'm uh, sorry, one zero miles from Provo Airport. Cleared VOR, DME runway one three approach, maintain VFR. Clear DME VOR approach 717. Southwest 1716, resume normal speed, and I'll have higher just south of Zion for solid arrival traffic. Traffic in sight, we'll 35. We'll 35, thank you. Okay. 6 Uniform Victor traffic has insight, no factor pass yeah. off to your right side. I'm a little Contact to the left, so I'm going to come over to the right. 125.3. That's centered again. Sky 717, contact Pro Tower 125.3, good day. Pro Tower 125.3, 717. Charlie northbound, clear for takeoff. Helicopter 88911. Wolf 2, turn left, Alpha 3. Left on Alpha 3, Wolf 2. Pro Tower, Sky K4717 is two miles from Sugi on VOR approach. Sky K4717, Pro Tower, how does this approach terminate? Full stop, 717. K4717, number two, following the sets are Katana, short final runway 13, clear land. Follow the Katana, runway 13, clear land, 717. Okay, as soon as I pass Sugi in a mile, I'm going to drop down to 4800. 
Provo Tower, Seminole 466, Uniform Victor. Seminole 466, Uniform Victor Program. Yeah, 466, Uniform Victor. Mile goes uh, fast. We're just uh, couple, yeah. uh, three miles west of the creek inbound with Oscar full stop. Seminole 66, Uniform Victor, and our right downwind runway 13, report midfield. Downwind runway 13, report midfield, 706 Uniform Victor. Helicopter 911, did you want to go northbound or through the Purple Canyon? I 15 Northwest. Helicopter 8911. So if, if, if I was in the clouds, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get down to the minimum descent altitude, and I have to see the airport to uh, be able to make the landing. To make the landing, if I don't, if I don't see the airport at the altitude and at the visual descent point, which is 2.6 DME. Traffic, five, four, three, single hotel. We are on the about 15 here. Wolf 2, taxi to the Rabbi Alpha, cross 118. Taxi to Rabbi Alpha, crossing 18. Wolf 2. Wolf 4, taxi to Rabbi Alpha, cross 18. Taxi to Rabbi Alpha, cross 18. Wolf 4. Turn me inside, five, four, three, tank hotel. So, uh, three, tank hotel, thanks. Need to go left a little. This VOR approach is actually not straight with the runway, you know? Helicopter 8911, frequency change approved. Okay, I need to start slowing down. Change approved, helicopter 8911. Flaps. Tell me to go right. Perfect Tower, 706 Uniform Victor, right midfield downwind, runway 13, full stop. 706 Uniform Victor, your number two following a Cessna, a mile and a half final, advise me, have the traffic in sight. Okay, looking for the Cessna, 706 Uniform Victor. Uh, traffic in sight, 6 Uniform Victor. 706 Uniform Victor, follow the Cessna, who's full stop, runway 13, clear to land. Following the Cessna, clear to land 13. So I look right now, Victor. can I see the airport? Yep, I'm gonna land. <laughs> three tank hotel, left downwind. I'm at my MDA right here. Yeah. 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 Bravo Fox Trap. Program Road One Three Taxi to Charlie. At least I'm Bravo remembering Alpha how to do stuff. That's good. <laughs> Always important. Cessna Five Four Three Tango Hotel. Your number three. You're following a Seminole on a right downwind north of the numbers. Advise when you get the Seminole in sight. I'll go over to that traffic, Three Tango Hotel. Traffic inside, Three Tango Hotel. Cessna Three Tango Hotel, follow the Seminole, runway 13, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, following that Seminole, Three Tango Hotel. He's going to tell us where to taxi. Safe for 717, turn left Alpha 3. Left Alpha 3, 717. Sure. Safe for 717 taxi to the ramp via Alpha Cross Runway 18. Taxi to the ramp via Alpha Cross Runway 18, one, uh, 717. 
That was good to practice some. Yeah, I haven't practiced some ap approaches for a few weeks. And this plane's a little bit harder, in my opinion, to do it with the instruments. And the one radio. <laughs> I have everything all set up. Yep. Seven six uniform Victor, turn left half three. Left it half a three, seven six uniform Victor. Open that vent. Just pull that out. It's starting to get hot. From Victor Texas to ramp via Alpha Cross from 18. To the ramp via Alpha Cross 18, Central Six Hundred from Victor. Take it back down by the hangar. That's interesting. I've never had that happen. Guide you back to the hangar? Yeah. I wonder if it's because they got this big commercial bird in here that... Yeah, maybe. How are you getting ground crew today, too? Look at that. 